ओम टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन डेमोक्रेटिक प्रेजिडेंशियल कैंडिडेट बर्नी सैंडर्स कंटिन्यूज टू बी ब्लंट एंड कंसिस्टेंट अबाउट कैनबिस एंड क्रिमिनल जस्टिस अनलाइक इज डेमोक्रेटिक एंड रिपब्लिकन राइवल्स सैंडर्स वॉन्ट्स टू एन द फेडरल प्रोबिशन ऑफ वीड एंड लेट स्टेट्स डिसाइड वेदर टू लीगलाइज द प्लान फेडरल कंट्रोल सब्सटेंस एक्ट मैरवाना इज लिस्टेड इज ए स्केजुअल वन ड्रग द हाइस्ट लेवल वाइन साइड Now we can argue the pluses and minuses of marijuana, but nobody, no sane person, thinks that marijuana is equivalent to heroin. Nobody believes that. We have got to take a hard look at the so-called war on drugs. In 2014, there were 620,000 marijuana possession arrests. That is one arrest every minute. Arrest. For marijuana possession rose last year nationwide, even as Colorado, Washington, Oregon, Alaska, and the District of Columbia became the first states to legalize personal use of marijuana. Kids getting arrested for marijuana, getting a criminal record, while they see executives on Wall Street who pay billions of dollars in settlements. And get get no prosecution at all, no criminal records for them. And let us be clear, as is the case in many other areas, that there is a racial component to this situation. Right now, it turns out that the African American community and the white community smoke marijuana at about equal levels. Okay, but it also turns out that blacks are four times more likely to be arrested than whites for possession of marijuana. That is why I have offered legislation to take marijuana out of the federal controlled substance. The time is long overdue for us to remove the federal prohibition on marijuana. Every state in this country should have the right to regulate marijuana. The same way that state and local laws now govern sales of alcohol and tobacco. Sanders also wants to end mass incarceration and abolish private for-profit prisons. Today in America, we have a broken criminal justice system. <laughs> Tragically, in the United States of America, we now have 2.2 million people in jail. We have more people in jail. Than any other country on Earth. China has a population about four times as large as we are. China is a communist authoritarian country that does not tolerate dissent terribly well, and yet we have more people in jail than China has. This is one of the great tragedies in our country today. And we can no longer continue to sweep it under the rug. It has to be dealt with. A male African American baby born today stands a one in four chance of ending up in jail. That is beyond unspeakable. Further, at a time of large deficits and a very large national debt, we're spending eighty billion dollars a year locking up fellow Americans. We need to make sure that when people are in jail. Often, African American and Latino, there is a path back back to civil society, so that we don't have the rates of recidivism that we do right now. We're going to end private prisons. <laughs> Corporations should not be making money locking up fellow Americans. We have got to do away with mandatory minimum sentences. We're going to invest in education and jobs, not more jails and incarceration. Together, we are going to invest in jobs and education, not more jails and incarceration. I want this country to have the best educated people in the world, not more people in jail than anywhere.
Furthermore, the Vermont Senator wants to hold police officers accountable when they commit crimes and demilitarize police forces, among other priorities. We're going to take a hard look at police departments all over this country. So what we have got to do is make it clear throughout this country that if a police officer breaks the law like any other public official, that police officer will be held accountable. What we have to do is end over-policing in African-American neighborhoods. As a nation, we have got to demilitarize local police departments. We have got to make police departments look like the diversity of the communities that they are serving. When we talk about drugs, when we talk about drugs, we have got to acknowledge in my state, neighboring New Hampshire and all over this country, we have a very serious problem with opiate addiction and heroin addiction. And in my view, the best way to address that national crisis is to understand that substance abuse and addiction is a health issue, not a criminal issue. With Sanders winning the last eight out of nine state primaries and caucuses, and now beating his rival Hillary Clinton in national polls, he still has a chance to obtain the Democratic nomination. Upcoming primary elections, including in New York, where 247 delegates are up for grabs on April 19th, could change the course of the campaign dramatically.